Our good friend, Uncle Lair, Larry Reeb in studio with us. He's at the Funny Bone tonight, and he's at the Funny Bone tomorrow. Go on out and check out the comedy works of one Uncle Lair. Great to see you again, man. Great Haven't seen you for a little you while, little. man. Yeah. Uh, I should have brought you Jimmy's hot dog. Oh, that, with the French fries wrapped around it. Those were French fries wrapped around, wrapped wrapped around the hot dog. What? Yes, yeah. Jimmy's, well, Jimmy's red hot. They, yeah, they, they have the hot dog <laughs> in the bun, and they take a big handful of fries, fresh and they put them on. Fries. Fresh cut fries. Whoa. Yeah, put them right on top of the hot dog and wrap it in paper and give it to you. But here's one thing you won't find in Jimmy's hot dogs. Jimmy's Red Hots is what it's called. Yeah. You won't find ketchup. Yeah, they don't eat no ketchup, no ketchup. on a hot dog. Yeah. Do, you do, do you do mustard? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mustard, yeah. relish, and onion. That's what Jimmy's does. That's it. That's the whole thing. That's it. Yeah. All right. They don't put the other places, put the tomato and. Yeah, but I know what else is on there. The sport peppers. <laughs> the sport peppers, they put the sport pepper too on there. Oh, yeah, yeah. they put the peppers. Yeah, those tiny peppers. Is that by the way, get hot dog, Polish fries, and tamale. That's all that's they sell. The whole menu that's it. right there. Yeah, so that's that's a true Chicago dog, right? Yeah. Now, for those people that haven't guessed, uh, you might know <laughs> I'm from Chicago. Uh, Lair is from Chicago, but not just from Chicago. His house, folks, is a block and a half from where I grew up. That's Seriously, it. right on the other Did side. Did you of the guys know each other when you were younger? I know you've known each no, other. No, I didn't years grow now. up there. I bought a house. I grew up in a little town in Illinois, actually, but okay. a, farm, a farm town, Dwight, Illinois. Okay, I don't know where that is. You may, there used to be a women's prison there. <laughs> A lot of people. <laughs> and a mental institution. <laughs> and my parents met. That explains a lot. Of things. That explains a lot. <laughs> Here I am, folks. Yeah. No, Larry, Larry's from, you know, I'm not sure if. But I bought a house, right? Up like a half a block from Yeah, here. we actually, oh you know, if there wasn't a railroad track uh, separating the, the, the uh, two neighborhoods right. here, the alley, we would share an alley. Oh, yeah. We yeah, would we share would share an alley, but, which is behind the homes where the garbage cans went. So that's how close he was. When we first met, we were talking about, oh, you, you're from Chicago? He goes, yeah, we're from Chicago. Well, Lou has an attitude about people. <laughs> oh, I know. Well, I, no, I'm with him on this because people say they're from, from Chicago. Chicago, but they're Where are you from? Really. Chicago, where at? LaGrange. <laughs> well, that ain't Chicago. Yeah. It's LaGrange. He's the same so way. So he did that with me. Where yeah. are you from? I go to Chicago. He goes, the city? Yeah. yeah, the city. We're in the city. Jefferson Park. Jefferson Park. What street? Yeah. Ainsley. <laughs> I live on Gunnison, which is Ainsley Gunnison. It was yeah. right there. Yeah. And we, 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 we've and been friends ever since. Ever since. That, that's when we hit it off. That we was awesome. hit it off. Yeah. 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 That was awesome. <laughs> so that's why we're, we're talking we the, the lingo you bond here. You got the Chicago And, and then we <laughs> talk about stuff people don't know anything. <laughs> Really brings people. But I, yeah, so I know that, and I know all about. I grew up on it. My cousin Stoltz got a farm. So you, I you, a farm. you understand? I know Midwest. all about milk and stuff. <laughs> I drank the milk right out of the udder. <laughs> so <laughs> you were the guy. You were the guy I, that yeah, first did it. I first did it. <laughs> <laughs> and you were trying to wrap your head around, uh, you know, what the deal was with the almond. Well, na national news: the FDA is trying to decide if milk that doesn't come from a cow and doesn't contain lactose should it still be called milk. And we're saying, yeah. well, what the heck would you call it? You know, almond. I have no idea. That's it. The <laughs> almond. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what they and should how call. How would you spell? <laughs> is, is, is the question. Have a delicious glass of. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. That's <laughs> it. You better right. patent it. I'm better patent it. it down. <laughs> There'll be a T H D D. You know. <laughs> So that's what that's you call almond but, and from now on. But okay. then off of that discussion, we're saying, so who's the first? Who was the first to say, you know, look at a cow and look at its udder yeah, and be like, I'm, you know, there's probably something tasty I'm out of that. Try that. <laughs> <laughs> but you, what you say, I wanted up? like, I was saying, I wanted like contacts. Who was the first guy? <laughs> I'm going to put this glass right in my eye. Try a bar bet. I'll bet you, Lou, I'll bet you you'll put that in your eye. I'll give you $10, Lou. Okay. Boom. Hey, I can see better. <laughs> it's a bottom of a, of a beer bottle. It's broken off. Yeah, and just <laughs> put it in there. It's out of context. It's all so, done off of bar bet. So, so. We, we've, so again, we, we told you that when you go see uh, Uncle Larry, you're going you're gonna to come away smarter. Yeah, you're so, going to know so, things. So we have learned a couple of things. We, we've learned... That, that uh, you you may have been one of the first people to say Let, let's try see what comes out of that udder and yeah. see what that is all that about. Do you, do you, uh, we'll talk more about. I, I want to know if your advice has changed over the years since you've been doing this for quite some time. We're so excited to have you back in yeah. studio with us, or maybe sometimes to, you know the good old things that still stand true to today. But we're going to learn more <laughs> when we come back with Uncle Lair. But you need to get your tickets right now. Des Moines.FunnyBone.com to see uh, Uncle Lair tonight and tomorrow at the Funny Bone over in West Des Moines. Yeah, it is a lot of fun. You. Will will leave and you will laugh. Uh, your sides will probably
we heard, but you're going to come on, and, I, and I'll bet you this, I bet you you're going to go back and you're going to run into some people at work or wherever you're hanging out, and you're going to talk about what this guy said, because, uh, you know, he does make a lot of sense, believe it or not, he <laughs> makes a lot of sense and gives you some things just to smile at, and right now, especially now in central Iowa, with all the weather we had over here in the past uh, day or so, uh, we need to smile. And this yeah.